popular indicator of a basement dweller when you don't go outside for an extended period of time. And because you don't go outside for an extended period of time, you don't fucking wash your hair or bathe and shit like that, so it just comes out all crumpy. Of course, I'm not a basement dweller, but that's what I would be if I had a basement, but no, I have an apartment. It's not even mine, of course, because if it was mine, then I'd be a normal person in society that contributes enough to make a living, or produces enough, if you can even call it that. I don't know about you guys, but... I'm paying attention to my surroundings, and you can't even go outside your pocket with a hand handler harassing you. Like, uh, it doesn't fucking happen. You go outside to any bank, any restaurant, any train station, any fucking uh, grocery store. You will find someone that's basically trying to get money from you, even drugstores or pharmacies, actually. Pharmacies are better word. I'm sure you'll find them there, too. There's always going to be someone that's, like, asking you for a dollar, trying to tell you a fucking story. Or the master manipulators are going to extract a lot of fucking money from you. And you can swear one if you're, s but uh, eventually you'll end up finding one that kind of compels you to give a dollar because, damn, these niggas just don't get off your fucking back. I fucking hate the panhandlers here. I hate how it's growing a lot more. It's safe to say that panhandling is scum of the earth. Handler dwarves are scum of the earth. Because I have some friends that are homeless and maybe even drug addicted, but they don't fucking do this. They don't. That, that's just some scam artist shit, but nonetheless, they do get away with doing that shit. I mean, cops are supposed to track them down since that's annoying and they're supposed to stop them. Chris, not, not us. But of course they go after the teens and the kids because it's all about wrong and imperialism. Not wrong and imperialism, but I guess the wrong and takeover of dollar communities that were taken over by that took over divides your communities which were ran by optimists that are now extinct. Mostly extinct at least. It's kinda how New York has become. I'm not looking for a eugenic solution. Twenty years to solve a simple fucking problem. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's why I don't like that's why I don't like the New York the modern state of mind. The easy shit we'll do it quickly. The problem will take twenty years to fucking solve. The more dire, the more more artificial and time consuming will take to solve that fucking problem. I don't want these people bred out. I want these people taken out of existence. Or, if that's too brutal and. I mean, I'm not really concerned about NSA shit. I at least want. I at least want someone to fucking throw these niggas out. 
get them locked up for 20 years. As harsh, as stringent, as fucking possible. Do something that's ridiculous to make sure that they never fucking do this shit again. Apply some fucking legalism. And I don't really care about legalism and concepts like this, but our modern liberalized system of government and law, it's not going to deal with the problem. Another fucking thing is, uh, not even the gay guys are kind of pissed, because they're realizing that they're basically on a witch hunt. Now, I don't care much for the LGBT movement. As you know, I disagree with gay marriage and sodomy laws. But now it's becoming more and more obvious that if you're a celebrity, if you're popular, they're going to find you. They're going to try and find the gay guy. It's a witch hunt for gays and gay niggas. Meaning that, well, Lance Bass, while well, I love him for playing Sephiroth in the first Kingdom Hearts game, and I don't really care about NSYNC, in fact, I hate NSYNC. I kind of blame them for Britney Spears. Yeah. And modern Disney pop starlets. Which is the whole reason why Twitter exists anyway. Twitter exists so you can continue to follow these pop starlets without... Or a Kardashian, of course. Because the Kardashian, that's like the only way out. Reality show or former Disney pop starlets. Those are the only real celebrities. Oh, maybe Jay-Z and Beyonce. That's every category right there. I don't think Lil Wayne and Wayne CMB count for that shit, but... Last base, he would say, all right, statistically, at least one member of One Direction is gay. And they all look gay, of course. So maybe, maybe it's all of them. But, yeah, we're going to have to, it's possible. And then, uh, I'm thinking, all right, so now, Darren Young came out, that whack-ass basketball player from the NBA came out. Of course, it's NBA, but Jason Collins. I'm like, no, nobody even cares about this guy. I was hoping Chris Bosh would come out, since at least, at least he's in a big, t major, successful team, and uh, he has some degree of talent. But no. It's not him. He's not the one that came out. It's, um... And Bosch probably isn't even gay, he's just suspect. He's ridiculously Drake. There I am from WWE. Who else? A lot of guys left and right. It's usually the black guys, too. I don't know why. Isn't there like a... Oh, no. So, obviously, they're trying to make this the next civil rights issue, which... Okay. Whatever. But it, it's really hurting some gay guys, because some gay guys at least want to be protected by the closet. Think about it. Now, don't you think some guys are going to try and attack these guys, especially if they live in hoods which are full of homophobic Dalits? I mean, I know that, like, uh, if you want to... If you want to come out that fucking closet, man, best not do that shit in the Bronx, you heard? But, of course, the celebrities will get the harassment since they're not guys from the Bronx. A lot of them have moved to nicer neighborhoods. At least I hope. 
guys. But even some gay guys are kind of wired up to this situation where it's like... Are you kidding me? Like, what's gonna happen to me? Because they're on a gay witch hunt, basically. There's no denying this. And of course, some um, you guys are open about this. They're trying to become mini activists. I know on Twitter I get a lot of heat for my views on the situation, especially since everyone's on Putin's dick because he doesn't really support all this gay activism shit. Even Lady Gaga is on that stupid ass dick. Like, Lady Gaga, could you calm the fuck down with your dumbass activism? You're a shitty pop musician who was... You actually have talent, that's the problem. Lady Gaga actually does have talent. She was classically trained. You're not classically trained, and then you suck. So obviously she's trying to take advantage of pop music's Zaniness. Her music is basically a return to the 1980s. And uh, let's be honest, even I can say this. As irrelevant as her career seemed during her injury, she actually does draw ratings. Her shit actually fucking matters. And that beef she had with Perez Hilton, where the rude is very mysterious. Is also very fucking revealing. So basically, like, you're either gonna get the troll activists nowadays, local activists. This gay guy got jumped. Everyone support him, even though you don't know him. And reality is starting to gear show the ugly face of this all, which is that, just like feminism, this isn't really about helping females. Uh, that isn't about helping females. This isn't really about helping gay guys. This is very specific, what they're trying to do. What they're trying to do is they're trying to go after vices. And by vices, I mean... state of mind guys. That's what this really is about. It's all about going after things they find precious. And that's why Mac Michael Moore, a Seattle guy that really fucking hates rednecks who sat made satires about them, that's why he was so hard on them. And he's so supportive of this gay issue because if you disagree with modern gay activism, they view you as that dirty, inbred, redneck, red state, Bible thumping, in, well, not, wait, incestuous, inbred, uh, they, they view you as that guy. And this is who this is all against. It's not really against anybody else specifically. It's not even against straight people. Straight people don't have to worry about this shit. They're, they're okay. I wouldn't be worried about it. Of course, I am a straight guy. With a really, really dumb fashion sense, nonetheless. Very schizophrenic, of course. But even I ain't worried about nothing, man. So, it's Mr. Walker 7, and SMD.